ginormous video. Um, this is going to be, or maybe I'll break this up into two pieces too. I don't know yet. Um, I'm doing a drugstore haul and high-end haul, um, either together or separate. Not sure yet. Um, but the reason I'm going to do a big haul, I haven't really hauled anything aside from my Lush stuff since... I think October, maybe November. Um, so everything here that I've collected has been over, what, three months now? Yeah, about three months worth of stuff. Um, I just really, you know, haven't had the chance to do a whole bunch of hauling. So, um, and the reason that I'm going to go ahead and just do one really big one is because you guys probably won't be seeing one for a while. Um, I am putting myself on a complete purchase ban for February on buying anything beauty related unless it's for my makeup kit um, for doing my freelance stuff. Um, I accepted kind of a job working with an, uh, a makeup, art or makeup artist, a modeling agency as their makeup artist and um, I actually start Tuesday with my first job so the um, only thing I'm allowing myself to purchase beauty wise is stuff for my kit. Um, otherwise it's really I've got more than enough like stuff to last me a lifetime to be honest so um, I won't be purchasing anything at all in February and then when the c time comes over the next I guess few months or for the, over the next year um, I'm allowing myself a very very small budget for beauty items so um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get Most started. the stuff that I bought here, I can't even remember exactly where I bought. There's a few key items that I do remember where I part purchased from. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Most, a lot of this is probably just from Target since that's where I do most of my shopping. So, let's go ahead and get started with that. I can't even tell you some of the, like, the hauls or the sales that I purchased this stuff on um, or during. First thing I picked um, up from Target is this Giovanni hair care stuff. Um, I bought the tea tree in triple treat, okay, tea tree triple treat invigorating shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've really got a lot of hair stuff so I probably won't be starting this anytime soon. Although I may, I don't know yet, I might try to start using this this, this month, not sure. Um, I also picked up the direct leave-in weightless moisture conditioner. Um, and I've actually been using a little bit of this. I've used this a few times, and it, it's okay. I'm not 100% crazy about this, so um, I actually purchased something else. Um, I guess since I'm on hair care, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I bought the Aveeno Nourish and Condition Leave-In Treatment. Um, I didn't realize that Aveeno had um, hair care products, so I picked this one up because I was kind of curious. And then recently, Target had, like... A lot of their Tresme stuff on sale for like three dollars so I purchased the curl activator spray creates and holds curls um, to use when I um, decide to curl my hair and I also purchased the 24 hour body root boosting spray um, when I'm drying my hair I feel that when I blow dry my hair uh, that it tends to fall a lot flatter than when I let it air dry so um, I like to use a root booster so thought I'd give this one a try. Um, I really do like the the Amplify by Matrix. Um, their root lifting spray works really, really well. So we'll see how this so works. Two more things that I picked up for hair care. One of them I actually use for my hair. The other one I don't. Um, next thing is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. This is the deep conditioner. Um, I like to do a conditioning treatment like once a week. So I figured I would get this and give it a try. It smells like coconut. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how I like this. Um, and then last thing is the Johnson's Extra Conditioning Shampoo. This I don't use for my hair. I use this on my brushes. Um, this does a really, really good job of cleaning your brushes. It's very gentle, and because it's the extra conditioning formula, um, it actually really, really conditions the brushes very well. So I really, really like this. I took this and I poured it into an old, um, face wash, um, facial cleanser bottle and I just pump it out when I need it which is a lot easier than having to pour this over and over and over again so something to keep in mind when you know you run out of um, yeah facial cleanser alright so next I'm gonna continue with skincare um, first off I'm gonna show you some of the facial stuff that I purchased and I picked up another whoop, 
I picked up another St. Ives um, apricot scrub. This is the Renew and Firm. Um, it's just, it says it's supposed to help tone and firm skin, which I don't know if I really need that yet, but, you know, I thought I'd give this one a try. Um, so I picked that one up. I picked up a couple of little travel size ones. Um, again, the green tea scrub. Um, I could probably pick up a full size of this stuff, but it took me like two months to go through my last um, small size of this. This is a scrub um, that has salicylic acid in it. Yeah, so this has 1% salicylic acid silic acid in it, and um, I use this like once a week, um, or if I feel like my my face is going to start to break out, um, I tend to use this one. And then I bought a little baby um, apricot So next, scrub. I decided to purchase the Olay Professional Pro X. Um, this is supposed to be the dupe for the Clarisonic. Um, this only costs like $30 versus $200, $150, 200 $250, you know that range. Um, so I picked this one up because I love skincare. Um, inside the box comes this little handy dandy tool. The brush head comes off just like the Clarisonic does. Um, has two speeds. There's the high, low, but yeah, you guys will get the, uh, the full review. Um, but when you open it, it also comes with the exfoliating renewal cleanser. I'm just a small little sample size of this. So, look forward to the review. Um, I'm probably going to use this for about three weeks, and then I'll let you guys know how how much good it does for my skin using it pretty much every day. Okay, moving on to makeup. I had to purchase a bunch of stuff for my new kit, um, and then just a few things that you know I wanted for myself. Um, I needed to get some new mascaras for my kit, so I picked up a few. I picked up the Voluminous. Um, this is my absolute favorite um, drugstore mascara. It's kind of a toss-up between this and the Falsies. Um, I have a Falsies in my kit, and then I have these two. This one, one of them is in black brown. This one is in. This is the Carbon Black. Um, and then I have the Maybelline Falsies in Blackest Black, I believe, in my kit. I also picked up um, the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner, and this is like a charcoal gray, or pewter, sorry. And then a Claire Mascara for brows. Um, just a few things here and there that I knew that like I like to use on myself, um, I like to use on my clients and stuff, so I picked some of these things up for my kits. Um, and then Target every once in a while does this like two for one type of deals. Um, they were two, originally two for ten. And then they went on clearance right after Christmas, so it kind of sucks I'm telling you guys about this now. I really wanted to put up a drugstore haul right after I got them, and then I just kind of ran out of time. So, I picked up the falsies here, and then I also picked up the Revlon Grow Luscious, which look forward to a review coming very, very soon um, on this mascara, which I love. <laughs> um, and yeah. The next, oh, and then, yeah, and then the next um, stuff that I bought, I pretty much, I think, picked up all at CVS or Walgreens. Walgreens. I got them all at Walgreens. First thing was this Wet n Wild Daytime Essentials Kit, which comes with a one of their trios, three or two eyeliners, or maybe three eyeliners. No. Two eyebrow liner pencils, one lip liner, one gloss, and one eyeshadow trio. And the trio is in Sweet as Candy. Um, next, Wet n Wild went on sale at Walgreens. Um, I want to say two or three weeks ago. I found out about it on like the very last day that it was on sale. So I kind of went to like three or four different um, Walgreens to pick up a bunch of different things. And everything you guys are about to see, I got half off. So I got th um, three of the four holiday uh, color icon little gift sets at half off. I got the, um, which one is this? Golden Goddess. The Night Elf. Or Elf de la Nuit. And then I also got Sugar Plum Fairy, which I really didn't hear a lot of great things about, but I wanted to see 
and try it out for myself. Um, all these come with a, um, like the, the little palette and then a, um, little eyeliner. Next, I know this is going to sound really ridiculous, I picked up four of the Color Icon palettes. I got the Vanity, Pride, Lust, and greed. And these all have like some seriously really amazing color payoff. Um, this one, which you would be surprised because I don't typically go for darker colors, but like that's just like two swipes of each finger. Um, oh, I already have swatches on here from when I went to MAC earlier today. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I definitely plan on using this on myself and in my kits. Um, Alright, moving on to the trios. Now, the one that I have, Sweet as Candy, is in here. Um, I'm trying to... To be honest, I'm not really sure what's new, which ones are new, and which ones are older. So, I know for a fact Knock on Wood and Walking on Eggshells are both older trios. And then I got these three. I got Good Jeans. I'm Getting Sunburned. And Silent Treatment, which I want to say is also an older color, but I'm not, again, not 100% sure. So, that was it as far as the Wet n Wild stuff goes. Um, Wet n Wild has really stepped up their game. I will, yeah, I will definitely admit to that. Um, I used to not be crazy about their products because they weren't that great, to be honest. They really weren't. So, um, when I started seeing all these rave reviews about these, and Keisha, um, Makeup Doll here on YouTube talks about them a lot, so I finally went out and I picked them up, and yeah. I don't regret it at all. <laughs> so, I think that's really it as far as my drugstore haul goes. Oh, and I picked up one single shadow, brulee. But really, I think that's all that I can remember hauling. I mean, I know I've purchased a lot of other stuff over the last few months, but, you know, it gets put away, and it gets used, and yeah. So hopefully you guys like what you saw here. If you want to see reviews or tutorials, um, or anything like that, let me know, leave me a comment below, and I will see y'all soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!